to being alive today and not dying tomorrow. The first season of Has Been Hotel has left an impression on fans. Charlie and her friends at the hotel have turned hell into their home, but the underworld isn't easy to survive. Many characters make a living by selling their souls or overpowering their enemies, as everyone competes to make themselves influential. While Charlie claims she trusts everyone, doing so could be a terrible mistake. In Heaven and Hell, we've witnessed people trying to stay in control, no matter who they harm in the process. With the extermination stopped in the finale, fans wonder what the aftermath will be once the second season premieres. In today's video, we'll discuss which characters could betray one another to keep their power. It's been a surprising thrill to witness these wayward souls find connection. Number 1. Alistair Betraying the Hotel When Alistair arrives at the has Hotel, he offers assistance under the pretense of looking for entertainment. He presents himself as a powerful overlord who feels bored in hell, claiming he would enjoy watching sinners try and fail to redeem their souls. However, despite his words, Alistair becomes a primary member of the hotel who helps Charlie and Vaki keep things running smoothly. Throughout the first season, he protects the hotel from threats, provides staff members, repairs damage, and aids Vaggie when needed. For someone who claimed he was only there for a laugh, he put immense effort into the hotel. While Charlie and her allies prepare for the upcoming battle with the exorcists in The Show Must Go On, Alistair speaks with Nifty about their fellow hotel residents and the relationships they've built. Alistair gives the impression that he's fond of everyone and learned to care for them over the many months he worked with the hotel. While he has some fallback moments, like threatening Husk and making a deal with Charlie, his admittance with Nifty seems like he's changing for the better, beginning his path to redemption. Unfortunately, the hopeful change in Alistair's character takes a turn after Alistair gets wounded by Adam during the finale's final battle. To save his life, Alistair flees the fight to save himself. When he faces the reality that he nearly died protecting his new friends, Alistair becomes furious, determining that his story will not end in such a charitable way. In his rage, he admits to having a deal with someone more powerful, who has some control over his behavior. Alistair seems desperate to escape his contract, believing it restricts his freedom. The control may be why he went to the hotel to begin with, and to free himself, he may have to betray Charlie and their friends in the process. Have to disagree with you there. Radio's not dead, but it is ending this broadcast. Number 2. Emily Betraying the Angels when Lucifer arranges for Charlie to meet with the people in charge in Welcome to Heaven, she meets with the High Seraphim Sarah and her second-in-command, Emily. While Sarah isn't thrilled about having representatives from Hell exploring their home, Emily is accepting and welcoming. Her personality is so similar to Charlie's that it's impossible to ignore as the pair share the same optimistic and caring attitude. Like Charlie, Emily fills the role of royalty in Heaven, with her sole priority ensuring everyone's happiness. During Charlie's meeting with the Council of Angels, Adam lets information about the extermination slip. Surprisingly, Sarah kept the extermination secret from her fellow angels. Rightfully, Emily feels enraged about being left in the dark and the harm the exorcists have brought to human souls. Without a second thought, Emily stands beside Charlie as they question Heaven's role in protecting humanity. Emily's views about her home have started to change, but Sarah quickly brushes off her questions, claiming that Emily could become a fallen angel like Lucifer if she continued to do so. By the end of the show must go on, Emily reappears having tea with Sarah before Sir Pentius appears before them. Emily's excitement about having a redeemed soul in heaven is unmistakable, and it seems like it would make her more eager to help the has Hotel. At the start of the second season, Emily will likely spend extended time with Sir Pentius. As the first redeemed soul to enter heaven, he'll need someone to guide him through their society and his new life. Emily would be the natural choice for his tour guide, and from learning about the hotel from Pentius, Emily could become Charlie's greatest ally. However, in supporting the has Hotel, Emily may have to betray Sarah's trust. We know when they pass divine judgment, it is our job to ensure these souls are safe. But she was right, Sarah. Number 3. Husk Betraying Alistair Unlike the others at the has Hotel, Husk doesn't choose to live and work there. His employment occurs because of his contract with Alistair, who summons him to work as a resident bartender. It's no secret that overlords use contracts and soul dealings to force others under their employment, but Husk's situation is unique. In the episode Masquerade, Husk confides in Angel Dust about his past to build trust and show his sympathy for Angel's situation. According to Husk, he was once an overlord with a penchant for gambling with souls. He claims that doing so is risky and inevitably leads to his downfall. To save his power, Husk signs a contract with Alistair, becoming a long-term term employee because of their deal. Throughout the season, we learn that Husk is familiar with things in Alistair's personal life, including his friendship with Mimsy, and that he may have become locked into a contract with someone more powerful. When Husk mentions this contract in Dad Beat Dad, Alistair becomes enraged enough to threaten Husk, showing the true dynamic of their relationship. 
While it's clear throughout the first season how restricting a contract can become on lesser demons, Husk has already established his resentment toward Alistair and his situation, claiming that his contract worsens each hour. At the same time, he's become friends with Charlie and the other hotel residents, especially Angel Dust. If he ever realizes that Alistair may threaten them or the has -been Hotel, he may do everything he can to prevent that harm from happening, even if it violates his contract. It's nothing I can't handle! Don't worry, Husker! Who in their right mind would cross me? Number 4. Lilith Betraying Loot in the final scenes of The Show Must Go On, the series' most significant mystery, the whereabouts of Lilith, get answered. Lilith appears on a heavenly beach where Loot approaches her. Loot mentions Lilith's ongoing deal with Adam, but his death meant it was over. Whatever the circumstances of Lilith and Adam's contract, Loot seems willing to continue it so long as Lilith does something to stop Charlie in the has -been Hotel. Although we don't know the circumstances behind Lilith's absence from Hell, we know from Charlie that she had a good relationship with her mother. In the pilot, Charlie steps away to call her mother, leaving a voicemail she knows will go unanswered because she trusts Lilith as someone to confide in. Moreover, after the extermination and overture, she tells Vaggie that Lilith genuinely cares about the betterment of Hell. It's unknown if Charlie's sentiments are genuine or the warped image of her mother she's managed to hold on to. However, taking Charlie's beliefs at face value, it seems like Lilith will have reservations about confronting Charlie and inhibiting her dreams. Like Lucifer, she could put her role as a parent above her fears, meaning she will have to betray Lou and forgo her former contract with Adam. With so little information, only time will tell what she'll choose. Hey mom, um... I know I keep calling, and uh, you must be busy. Number 5. Serpentius Betraying the Angels One of the most likely betrayals in the second season concerns Sir Pentius and his new home in heaven. He's the first demon to genuinely give the has -been Hotel a chance in Radio Killed the Video Star. He never questions the legitimacy of what Charlie's trying to do. He partakes in every exercise she comes up with, giving his all and delighting in his success. There is an adjustment period as he must let go of components from his old life, but he puts his best effort forward to redeem himself. In The Show Must Go On, he gives his life to protect his friends from Adam. His selfless act seemed like the only thing he needed to redeem himself, granting him a new life and appearance in heaven. While he's met with a smile from Emily, it's clear that Sarah isn't pleased to have a former sinner in her home. Since Sarah is the one who orchestrated and condoned the previous exterminations, she will likely become a primary antagonist in the second season. While Sir Pentius won't want to lose his new home or betray the trust of newfound close friends, his loyalty to Charlie and the has -been Hotel will remain. As an ally inside heaven, Gates, he may risk his position as an angel to protect the people who gave him a new home and a second chance at a good afterlife. Uh, what? Where? Where am I? While Charlie works hard to help change hell for the better, nothing will stop the other demons and angels from acting out against one another. Although many characters are concerned with maintaining their power and influence, others may have to take life-threatening risks in the name of doing the right thing. The second season will have many conflicts between the main cast, and some of their relationships may change forever. Listen up, sinners! We got 24 hours before the extermination begins. Let's get to work! Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications to stay updated on our uploads. Maybe you could take the lead on this one. I trust everyone, so maybe you'd know better about how to build it properly.